and he's getting another stone <laughs> out of his trainer. <laughs> he gets nearly as many stones in his trainer as Poppy does poos. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> it's the 21st of July. It's a Friday. Um, we're still in Swanage and we're riding the Swanage Railway today. Um, it's not going to be train heavy, but we're going to show you the sights on the railway, show you the castle and anything else that we uh, we want to see, see ourselves. Well, we yeah. want to see ourselves for our little diary. So we're, we're sat at Harmon's Cross. Oh yeah, an, an, an intermediate station. Um, which we've got off at because we came up on a steam train but I want to catch the diesel one back so madam is putting up with my train whims again well it's all right it's more of a lazy day after after the walk yesterday yeah after the walk yesterday mm -hmm. I did um, 18,000 steps according to me I did 21,000 you've got little legs <laughs> Maybe it's because I was using me walking poles as well. Four legs, you see. Yeah, that was it. Anyway. What, what, who am I? Doc, what's it? Doc Ock. Dr. Octavius. Anyway. <laughs> in a later. In a later. It's like in a bit, but confusingly all the wrong way around. <laughs> I need a beer. So here we are at Harmon's Cross, which is on the Swanage Railway. If you are coming down this way, and you fancy coming on it, you can actually catch it at Wareham, but that's only on certain days. We're here on a Friday and it doesn't go as far as Wareham. But it's, they're, they're always beautiful, these stations. They're so well kept. Um, I was talking to a, a, a lovely old guy back at Swanage and uh, and he was saying that i think he said was there 400 volunteers or something that they have on this railway and this is a thing this is what you have to remember about these vintage classic railways whatever you call them is that they are predominantly run by volunteers or fanatics whatever you want to call them <laughs> that love the trains i don't know what a lamp shed is other well, than it's obviously a shed full of lamps. I mean, like you say, they are, they, they really are lovely. That's one to do. Ooh, if it's still running, that one, I don't know. Like, it's so lovely how they make them, you know, keep the traditional old look and all of the old signs. This is how things were advertised. <gasps> Cigarette one. Oh, can't do that. So there we go. Here we are in Corfe village. Very pretty, aren't you? <laughs> Little old shops and a few pubs. <laughs> I ain't seen a pub yet. 
few tea rooms as well, I think. <laughs> and it's National Trust, Corf Castle is. Someone's on the cocktails. <laughs> it's not you, is it, Pop? No, mate, it's not me. I'm sticking to water. It's had an eaten mess cocktail. I've already eaten the strawberry. It's eaten the strawberry. It's got Bailey's in it. Bailey's. Um, strawberry, strawberry juice or something. Yeah. Pieces of meringue. It's bit really odd. much to drink. <laughs> I've got a pint of Knob, and it is called Knob. I never noticed what the brewery was at that. Maybe Purbeck Brewery, I think it said or something. Anyway, I did say to the guy, I'll have a pint of what comes out of your Knob pump. We both laughed. Oh, and there's a view of the castle. Look, got a quote coming around later for some pointing. Keep the jokes to yourself, mate. The crap. <laughs> the, down there to the trains. We went into the Greyhound. And if you go in the Greyhound, you get 10% discount if you've got a ticket for the trains. So this is, this is the back side <laughs> of Corfe Castle. And there's a nice woodland walk that you can take, which you can actually walk all the way up to Norden Station. It's all well signposted. at Corf Castle Station on the Swanage Railway. It's so lovely to see these restored because having gone into the um, uh, the Swanage Railway Museum there, they closed it down and ripped it up. I've actually put this line back down again. So there you go. There he is, look!
Hello, puppy. Ask me what date it is now. 22nd, I think. <laughs> of July. Yeah, it's 7.53 in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, Saturday. And we are going home from Allwell. We were going to do a pub stopover tonight or something on the way back. But the whole country looks like it's going to pour down later today. So we figure we're going to go home and do a takeaway instead. <laughs> um, and that's it really. We had a lovely day yesterday on the uh, trains at uh, Swanage to Corf and mm -hmm. Dennis Norden, didn't we? Yep. It was good. And if this did turn into a two part video, you'll have seen. That it's a two part. Yeah. So, anything to say before we get off the site? Um, the site itself is okay. Okay. Um, it wasn't worth 50 quid is what she's saying. Yeah, it definitely wasn't worth 50 pounds. What annoys me is that they normally charge extra for extra people, but... Yeah, you can't win. Six people on this site is the same price as yeah. two people is what she's trying to say. Mm -hmm. But not just that. We appreciate the location made it 50 quid and that's that. Um, and it, for us to be near Swanage, we had to pay it, but... Yeah. The site's a bit run down for 50 quid, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. and from today, it because goes up. it goes up today, and that was just a grass pitch, I think. Yeah, it was you, a grass pitch that was extremely unlevel. You need big chocks for it, yeah. I'm telling you. I think right. I think it's something like, on, on one of the top pitches, something like 84 quid a night now yeah. for the kids, kids' holidays. Yeah. And even some of them are not, nah. they're not flat. But, um, like I say, location is everything. This was the nearest one we could get to Swanage, and it was a last minute booking. So, it's a sort of complaint, but it's not their fault, although the price is definitely their fault. I think they're just, well, way too expensive. Anyway, moan over. Speaking of school holidays, we now got a few weekends off. Certainly mainstream things. It's the start of the main six weeks holiday for mm -hmm. the kids now. As we said before, we don't hate yeah. kids. We don't hate kids, we just couldn't eat a whole one. Um, and we don't have any kids of our own, so we've never really, you know. Heather's got nieces, it's good to give them back, etc., etc. <laughs> so, yeah, we just we just swerve most stuff now for the next few weeks. We've got a few things coming up, a few one nighters, yeah. weekends local. They're at the Malvern show. Yeah. But anyway, main roadies are coming. Join the Facebook group if you like. Like and subscribe if you do. And we'll catch you on the next one. Yep. Thank you for watching. Which way are we going? Left. Left. Right. No, left. Right. <laughs> See you later. See you soon. Bye.